When connecting to a relational database source, Amazon QuickSight provides an easy UI-driven interface to import your data. In this video, we are going to look at how you can bypass this UI and perform the import through custom SQL statements. To get started, let's go through the path of creating a dataset from a relational database source. In this case, we will connect to a Redshift cluster that has already been configured in the account. We will pick a table with the flight data and choose the prepare option, which brings us to the data prep screen where you can customize your data set. To use a SQL statement, let's go to the custom SQL option, which is available in the tables menu on the left hand side. Here you may provide a name to be associated with the snippet of SQL being entered and enter the SQL statement. In our example here, the SQL statement is intended to pull any rows in the table that relate to flights originating in California and heading to New York. Amazon QuickSight relies on the underlying database to perform the validation. As a result, you might want to ensure that the SQL being entered is fully compliant with the underlying database. We now have a preview of the data requested and can choose to create a dataset from this data, either using direct query mode or SPICE. In direct query mode, interactions in QuickSight will be translated to queries passed on to your database. In SPICE mode, the data will be ingested to SPICE, our in-memory optimized store, and then all interactions will benefit from the super fast response times provided by SPICE. You'll have the option to refresh this data from the database in the datasets menu. For this example, we will choose SPICE and proceed to create an analysis. Now that the data is in SPICE, let's take a look at the carriers that fly between the two cities. With Autograph, simply clicking on the fields of interest gets your data visualized. You can, of course, modify this to be any visual you want. For example, let's change this bar graph into a pie chart. A second interesting visualization might be delays by each carrier over time, which is also very easy to do with Autograph with the graph types changing based on the data fields being added to the graph. Now that we have a couple of visuals set up, let's take a look at how we could refresh the data if needed. To do this, we go to the datasets menu and choose the refresh option, which kicks off a refresh task. You can view the status of this refresh in the screen or within the analysis itself. Finally, you can also edit the underlying SQL of the dataset if required from the dataset page by simply choosing the Edit Dataset option. You may also get to the Edit SQL screen from the analysis, where clicking on the dataset name on screen will present you this option. The Custom SQL option makes data ingestion very easy, especially when you have a clear idea of what exactly you want to import and maintain in your Amazon QuickSight dataset. If you have questions or feedback, please do send them our way via the feedback option or post in the forums.